What's up YouTube? This is Stu904 and I'm going to show you how to download apps on your Gear 2 from the Samsung store with an LG G3 and possibly any other phone. Uh, first let me start off by saying um, I am not responsible if you screw up anything or mess up by any way. Okay let's go ahead and get started. So assuming you have a Samsung Gear 2 Neo or Samsung Gear 2 paired up with your LG M8 uh, whichever phone that you possibly have so first off um, your phone must be rooted in order to do this process um, otherwise it won't work so <clears throat> first thing you need to uh, download is the build prop apps um, I personally use uh, both of these build prop editor build prop tweaker uh, the reason being is with build prop editor I can basically copy my current build prop so it doesn't screw up my phone um, when it boots up or any type of reason so in case you need to find them uh, build prop editor and build prop tweaker light those are the two that I have Okay, first thing first, we're going to go to your build prop. So we're going to select build prop editor. And where it shows the little pencil, we're going to select that. What it does is it shows basically everything for your build prop for your phone. Um, I highly recommend you do, you do not change anything on here as it could screw up your phone um, unless you're, you pretty much know what you're doing. Um, so what I did was I would just hold down anywhere and just select all and we're going to copy so that it copies my current build prop anywhere um, I personally use notepad so that I can basically get it back and I just pasted my phone's build prop into notepad so I can get back to it whenever I'm pretty much done doing what I need to do um, after you copy your old one, you're going to go to Build Prop Tweaker. Okay, and the things you need to, there's three things you need to change on the phone in order for the Samsung Gear App Store to show up on your phone for the Gear Manager. So, the three things we're going to look for, um, I'll go ahead and put them in the description of the video as well. So, the first we're going to look for is the. Oops is the row put a row so RO oh, sorry <laughs> RO dot product so already pop, it already pops up for you right there the three things we need to change is the row product manufacturer row product model and the row product brand um, like I said I will put these in the, the description so you're not just changing the wrong thing it's so row product manager I'm sorry more product manufacturer row product model and row product brand so once you click so the first one we're gonna do is the manufacturer so row product manufacturer <coughs> where it says product key we're gonna change that to Samsung with a capital S. <clears throat> then you just hit apply. So it says applying changes. It's been changed. So we're going to look for the second one. So just type in row product again. So next one. So we got row product manufacturer, Samsung. Next one is the row product model, um, which is pretty much your your phone's model, but which mine and it says I have the AT&T G3, mine's the LG D850. So we're going to change that to capital GT dash I 9500, and then we'll hit apply for that one. So that's been changed. And then we're going to type in row product again. 
last one is the Rode product brand which is LG um, since I have the LG we're going to change that one to Samsung as well what this does is it basically tricks the gear manager into thinking that you have a Samsung phone so that you're able to access the Samsung gear app store so we hit apply for that so it's been uh, changed so when I go to my gear as you can see I do not have the Samsung store um, so then that night I've done the changes we're going to go ahead and restart the phone I'm just going to wait for it to restart now that my phone is restarted let's go ahead and pair my gear 2 back with my phone I'm going to say unable to refresh must be connected so I'm going to hit connect Oh, my Bluetooth's not even on. <laughs> there you go. So Bluetooth connected. So it's connected with Samsung Gear 2 Neo. Now when we go to the Gear Manager store. Uh, as you can see, the Samsung Gear apps is now showing up in the Gear Manager. Um, like I said before, when you change that build prop, what it does is it basically tricks the gear manager into thinking that you have a Samsung device. Um, so we're going to go to the Samsung Gear App Store. Um, you do have to have a Samsung account in order to download the apps. It takes like two minutes. You can sign up through the uh, through the website or through the app itself. Um, you really don't have to use it. It's just in order to download the apps. So let's say um, let's do Pac-Man for example so it's free oh, hang on I have to sign in real quick alright I'm signed in uh, accept and download so as you can see it's starting to download it's installing If I go to my apps here, you'll see that it's not there. So it says View and Gear Manager. Apologize for that. Now if you look at my Gear Manager, there's Pac-Man. It's now showing up onto my gear. Um, Pretty much every app works 100%. Um, I've downloaded a couple apps. Um, you can either keep the build prop the same if you like. Um, you don't have to change it. I personally did have to change it back because of the notifications for the messages. Um, because it thinks I have a Samsung phone, it uses the Samsung Messages app. It mines through LG. So my messages will not show up whenever somebody would text me it would not show up on the watch as you can see instant alerts from gear messages is nowhere to be found because of the fact that it thinks I have a Samsung device um, if you don't care about the messages you just wanted the apps um, you're pretty much all set um, if you do feel like you want the messages you want to put everything back the way it was so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to where you saved go back to where you saved your old build prop for your phone um, which in my case it's on the notepad so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all copy I'm going to back to the build prop editor because when you did the tweaker what it did was it basically rewrit the whole entire thing so I'm going to go back to the pencil pad again and I'm going to select all on this one and just erase erase the whole thing and then paste 
my current old build prop back. <coughs> Which you can see it right here. The build proc product, or I'm sorry, build proc row product uh, manufacturer is back to LG. My row product model is back to LG. So we're going to help the save button up top here. So what it is it saved it back. See, so saved build prop. And then you have to restart the phone again. Phone has been restarted. So make sure my Bluetooth is on this time. Okay, it's on. So we're going to pair my gear 2 back with the phone. Oh, no, oh, never mind. It's pairing automatically. So now when you go back to the gear manager, now the Samsung App Store is missing again. But when I go to my notifications, my messages should now show up. right there messages are showing now so like I said if if you do care about the messages um, you can probably download the Samsung messages APK file um, I personally didn't like the Samsung one I kinda like how the LG works better so I just stuck with the LG messages instead um, and that's pretty much it how to download gear apps onto your gear with a non Samsung phone um, subscribe if you like doesn't matter um, it just I just felt like sharing this because uh, it I was pretty much busting my ass trying to figure out how to make this work for a long for like a couple hours and I eventually figured it out myself I'm sure other people have figured it out as well um, I just felt like sharing it with everyone um, tell your friends uh, whichever uh, if you have any questions I'll try to answer as best as I can um, and that's pretty much it.